subject, hydrology, chapter, evaporation, topic, measurement of evapotranspiration. <music> Students, we have already discussed what is evapotranspiration, how is it happening, what is PET, what is pay, uh, uh, AET and what is the edited index, right? Now, in, in this lecture, we will be discussing about the measurement of evapotranspiration, right? So, a lot of ma methods are there, but the most important method that, uh, that is also asked in examination also, that is lysimeter. So, the questions are like this. We, uh, the instrument or the method used for the calculation of evapotranspiration is... Lysimeter. Recently in DMRC also this question was asked, right? Lysimeter. So in lysimeter what is happening is that we have a soil block, right? Plants are grown in the soil block and this soil block is, uh, it, it assembles or it is just exactly as the environmental conditions are. We maintain the moisture content in the, uh, in the soil block, right? Uh, there is a proper arrangement of, you can say, instruments which, me which measure the moisture content in that soil block, right? So it is a very time consuming process, takes a lot of time. So that is why it is not generally used, right? But in examination point of view, this is very important. We also have some field plot method also. Uh, in field plot methods, we are using the water budget equation. What is water budget equation? I have already told you, right? So in the water budget equation, if you take your uh, evapotranspiration on the left hand side, on the right hand side you will be having precipitation plus irrigation if you are doing irrigation, right? Minus runoff minus the groundwater storage. storage yeah? We have some empirical formula also, we have Penman equation also, but the important equation is Van Criddle formula, right? This is also used in uh, your irrigation also, it is 2.54 evapotranspiration is given by 2.54 into K into F. K is a constant, right? F is the evapotranspiration constant, right? Uh, F is given by summation of pH into TF bar divided by 100. Now, what is pH? pH is the monthly percentage of annual day time hours, right? So, first of all, you will be given uh, how much because evapotranspiration it depends, evapotranspiration it depends upon the day time hours, right? So, first of all, you will be given for the annual uh, how much for how much time the day time hours are there, and for month, one month you have to calculate the percentage of that, right? And T is the temperature in degree Fahrenheit. Okay, so these are the main methods, but the most important thing is the lysimeter. That which of the following is used for the calculation of evapotranspiration? Some options will be given, and one option will be lysimeter. So lysimeters are used for the calculation of evapotranspiration. Okay, so I hope it was a very short topic. So I hope. You have understood the measurement of evapotranspiration. Now let's move to the next topic and solve a few numericals on evaporation and evapotranspiration also. Right? Thank you.